Well, alrighty then. Let's say we do an unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a while. These are supposed to be, I think, tissue cultured uh, cryptocorine pink flamingo that I found on Amazon. And if I remember correctly, I ordered two, two of the little pots. We'll see. Now these were sitting out in the mailbox at the end of the street. We got one of those kind of neighborhoods where they just drop everything off in, in a mailbox at the end of the street. Even though it came from Amazon, I don't get an Amazon notice until God knows when. The postal carrier decides to, to deliver it, you know, deliver the notice. Uh, so it's 100 degrees outside. Um, let's see. I'm going to cut it open this way without cutting my hand off, I hope. There we go. There's one. There's two. There's the packing notice and some extra paper. Uh, yeah, two cryptochorine cups, pink flamingo, tissue culture, aquarium plant. Uh, let's just see how much. They're 98 degrees. Um, I'm glad I, I thought to look when I did because that would suck. Those I, I ordered a Blixa Japonica twice. Both times it looked like cooked spinach. Both times it was uh, a really hot day and sitting in a mailbox. It looks nice. It's a big healthy clump. I'll wash the, uh, the auger off the bottom. This one uh, is a much bigger clump. A lot more roots, more leaves that are actually starting to color up as well. So this one is much further along than this one. But all in all, I don't think it's too bad. Um, I'll clean them up and I'm gonna pot them. But anyway, I just wanted to share this. What I buy from these guys again, they're called Substrate Source. Uh, it's through Amazon Fulfillment. They are in Rosemead, California, and so far I'm going to say, yeah, I'd buy from them again. I think I had to pay for shipping on this as well. I'm not always a fan of that through Amazon, but I get it, you know. Uh, it costs somebody something. So what you don't pay in shipping, you pay in marked up price. So let's go ahead and pot these. I've got two little, I believe they are... Uh, 1.9 inch terracotta pots. I bought a bunch of them. I think it was 60 of them on Amazon, I don't know, a year ago now, uh, for a bunch of Crips, Crip Wendii, red, uh, no, yeah, red and green that I was uh, growing out. And I've used them for other things. Um, I've got some other crypts in, in some that I can't even remember. I'm looking at them right now. I'll be damned if I remember what they're called. Uh, this gel, I try to wash most of it off. But on this one, a little like plastic. It's really hardened. So I think it'll be all right. So what I'm going to do is fish out some of this sand that's in this pot. I've got these little pieces of API root tabs that I've broken up. There's one. I'm going to stick that down. Um, try and push it down a ways. It's crumbling. That's okay. So it's down there in the root zone. The roots will find it. Then I'm just going to mound up a little bit of this sand because this has this like little dimple at the bottom of it. That way I can just push that down over it. And it'll fit up underneath and won't leave a big air pocket under there. I mean, it's in water. It's going to settle down regardless. But we'll take this extra sand. And I think I buried a leaf. So I don't know if we can fish that leaf out. Yep, there it is. And pack it down. And then when I resubmerge these, I tend to hold them down in place. So it doesn't, the water pressure coming up through that, there's a little tiny hole in the bottom of these. Because these aren't intended for aquarium use, they're intended for, you know, little succulents or whatever in, in the garden. 
or you know in your on your potting table um, so once again I dig some of this out got a bigger chunk of rock right there and then this time I, I think I'll make it a little easier on myself open a little hole drop a piece of uh, root tab in there cover that back up again make a little mound this one's not doesn't need it as much there's a lot smaller root zone on it so I'm gonna adopt I heard, what was that from a movie once upon a time I think it was called bridge over the river Kwai. some of you older kids might know it one of the the mottos of one of this British guy was adopt adapt and improve and I've lived by that I thought that was a point so I'm just gonna open a little hole in this one shove those roots down in there push the sand and this is used potting sand or not potting sand used substrate sand um, and gravel some big gravel obviously and uh, fluval stratums mixed in here too and now there's also a little quarter chip of each uh, in each of the uh, API root tab and get the extra sand off my fingers and those I'm going to drop in this uh, uh, little 41 quart and I decided that's what I'm going to do and drop them in the 41 quart plastic tub I'll show you that all right there we are um, with this is one of those 41 quart storage bins and I've got other plants floating around in here and some of that nasty ass green algae that hair algae and bunches of pieces of uh, Java fern so when when they break off my big Java fern I just throw them in here uh, so anyway there is the smaller of the cryptocorine uh, pink flamingo and here's the larger of the two and there's that cute little betta uh, this one's in here it's a little male I believe uh, juvenile they'll be a year next month I've got a, a tank full of them uh, he was having a hard time breaching so I thought you know what just put him in a shallower tub seems happy there's red cherry shrimp in here once in a while I'll catch him picking one off so he's getting his protein and uh, then there's snails in here too and everything else so anyway so that's uh, the unboxing for these cryptocorian pink flamingo I hope you enjoyed it um, and let me know give it a like give it a subscribe blah 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 thanks for looking